Hey everybody, it's Casual Boops coming at you with another video, and today we're doing a Holiday Ops update, uh, a free-to-play update, and a crafting guide and all that kind of stuff. I wanted to give uh, a revision. I've had a chance to play around in the in my free-to-play account um, a couple of days here and um, figure out a little more about how to what to do, how to do it, and where I think free-to-play will get. Um, first, you know, the first video that I made was a little bit of a first of uh, a, a fast take, right? You know, and hadn't had a chance to play with it a little bit, so. Without further ado, we'll get right into it, and um, yeah, let's see, just, so first of all, I don't know if you guys have seen this, even if you didn't see it, it doesn't matter, because you didn't have to, you know, make a code or anything to get it, the, the missions are just active. Uh, every weekend on Friday, on, I'm sorry, on Saturday and Sunday, excuse me, Wargaming has decided to give these missions out that are very, very easy, 2,000 damage over any number of games and 1,000 base XP. I got this in two games, you guys, you know, you know it's not a big deal. Um, you'll be able to get these no problem, and it's... 10, is it 10,500, 11,000, 10,500, I think, um, or is it, whatever, it's like, it's more than 10,000 shards every, for each of these two missions, and you get two of them every single weekend, and there's four weekends in Holiday Ops, so that means that you're going to get, you know, what is it, there's like 21,000, you're going to get 80,000 shards just for playing the game a couple of times on the weekends. So, with that in mind, I think that um, for free to play, it's very, very easy to. It's going to be very easy to get to holiday um, holiday atmosphere level ten, and I will show you now how to best to do that. I was um, I would show you how to craft the things, but I already made this video and I showed it to you, I showed it in that other take, and I realized my sound was off, so we get to do it this time without actually showing you. Sorry, guys, technology is hard. So what you would do is basically. You'll do your missions and you'll send presents to people and you'll have them send you presents back and all that kind of stuff And you'll open up all the small boxes and play the games and do the Arnie missions and those give you boxes too and um, And when you get the boxes you get shards or or ornaments and stuff and you'll see here each of these different decoration um, Slots right there's 18 of them total. There's a whole bunch on the tree. There's some in the fair There's four in the fair and there's uh, what is this five of the installation? There's a total of 18 of these um, and each of these, if you were to, if it's if it's un you know unoccupied, you can go to craft it. You craft the decoration that would fit in that in that slot. And the more specific you get, the more expensive uh, the shards are to craft that that one. So since we're just trying to fill out the tree and we don't care, you'll just pick a you just you'll say random. I don't care which collection, and then it already has this, the type selected that you have clicked on to get here, and it costs twelve thousand five hundred shards to craft one. Um, so I would recommend doing that for each of those, for each of those 18 slots on the in your atmosphere level in your tree or whatever. And there's 18 of them, so that means math. It's I've got it on the screen. 12, uh, it's 22,500 shards total to fill out the entire thing. And just by doing that, you'll get to like festive atmosphere level five. That's that's where I'm, I'm at five right now because of that um, on this free to play account. So that's what I would start off doing, and then you'll be able to do that almost on this first weekend if you've played those missions and stuff. So with that in mind, I think that getting to level 10 is going to be no sweat. So what you'll do is you'll keep opening the boxes and keep doing the things. Even if you only play on the weekend, um, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just those weekend missions are so clutch. So I think getting to uh, a 50% uh, credit bonus is going to be very very difficult free to play is probably not going to make that happen And that's you know, that's just okay. It is what it is. Uh, you're just going to, have to accept it and move on um, You can craft the large decorations as well for the same thing again I already did this on this other on the other take that I had but I didn't have the sound on so I, I can't show you now because I'm out of shards But you'll just you craft these as well and the, and the last one is 5,000 I think you know they get more expensive as you go but the last one's 5,000 but again you should be able to get all of this done in if, even if you don't play at all, except for this weekend and next weekend, you'll have all of these. And that'll get you to at least Festive Atmosphere level 6, I would think. And then, what you'll want to do is, you'll, um, as you open things, some of, sometimes you'll get decorations. And they'll probably be, um, the, even if they're not duplicate, du I, okay, so you'll get decorations. And what you should do is, every decoration that you get, if it's a new one, you'll want to put it on the tree or wherever it goes. Like if I get a whole bunch more of these ones, these um, these types, even if it's even if you've already got this filled out, you put the new one on the tree anyways, it gives you points for that. If it's a fresh decoration, you get points for having a fresh one. Uh, so that's one way. Even if you, you get new ones, it's got a little exclamation point next to it, and I wish I could show you, but I, I suck at technology. Um, so yes, when you get a new decoration from the small boxes or whatever, just put it on and then take it off if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, just as long as there's something in that space and you want to make sure that you put new ones on no matter what. 
uh, and that will increase your atmosphere just by putting stuff on the trees and stuff that will that will help you get you can see there the list uh, the three ways to get increases in festive atmosphere when receiving new unique decorations, when unlocking slots, which we're going to do when I've just I've just told you how to do that, and then when placing a new decoration in the slot for the first time. So get a new one, put it in the slot, that's points. Whew. Okay, from there, and I'm trying to be fast because I've already done this once. Um, so you'll from there, the best way to increase things is... Um, to uh, fill out your collection. And now I think it's unreasonable probably for free to play. You're not gonna get any of these camos, to be honest. I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, but that's okay, because you know they're just they're just 2D camos. Um, but if you care if you care what they look like, they look like this. This is the only one that I care about. The heat insulated armor it looks like a sweater. It's pretty good. Uh, the citrus, the citrus is pretty good too, but these two it's whatever, you know. And this is yeah. So you, you can go check these out for yourself if you want. But what you're gonna do is uh, you're going to, uh, if you hover over the little icon here, the little information icon, it'll show you where you are, how many, how, how filled out each of those collections are. And you'll notice that, you know, beyond 65, you don't, you don't even get a bonus. So you don't even need to fill out the collections to get the maximum bonus. Uh, so what you want to do is, as you start doing the things, you'll notice you'll just get some collections. Uh, some collection decorations and some will be further along than others. You'll want to pick the one that is the least far along, right? So like on my main account, most of these are at like 0.7 and then there's one of them that's like 0.5. So you'll take the one that point, that's at 0.5 and you'll focus on that one to get, because that one's got the most gaps, right? The most uh, easy, uh, yeah, there's most the most missing, right? Uh, and what you'll do is you're going to craft, you're going to take the shards that you've got from opening boxes and if you smashed decorations that are duplicates or that you've already put on the, you know, you, you got the new one, you put it on the tree, you took it off, you smash it, you get shards. Uh, you'll use those shards to craft decorations in the, in the, uh, in your collection. So for example, what you'll want to do is you'll want to focus on decorations that are, um, that are easy to that are easy to get, not duplicates. Because if you get a duplicate, it doesn't help you at all. So, for example, uh, this type of you know, you pay attention to these little icons, right? So this looks like a like a pendant. They call it a pendant, right? Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these, and I don't have any of them, right? In this account, so that means that what I would probably want to do is I'll just uh, you know I'm just going to roll the dice. It's fifteen hundred. Uh, shards for this and I know the first one's gonna be a fresh one and so I'll probably roll two or three or four of these things because the odds are pretty good that at least three of those are gonna be fresh and not duplicates and then from there I'll probably leave it alone because there's a whole bunch of these that I'm still missing so that's what I'm trying to say fill in the gaps first to get the get the easy stuff first right when you when you don't have anything or maybe you have one of these or like for example like these are the pyrotechnics and there's one two three four five of these well, I have two of them of this, you know, the New Year collection pyrotechnic type. I have two of the five. So that's probably not that great of odds right now. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to spend my shards creating another one, hoping that I'll get a non-duplicate because there's other easier, you know, pick the low-hanging fruit, right? There's a whole bunch of open space. Go, go make those first. And then again, once you make them, put them on the tree, take them off, smash them. That's how you're going to progress to do that, and you're going to you're going to get the fastest map this year to level ten very quickly that way. That's also going to be a really easy way to bring your multiplier up so that you actually get a decent credit bonus. And I think that if you do this stuff and you play on the weekends and you you give a crap about this at all, I think you're going to be able to get to like a thirty percent uh, credit multiplier, even though it's free to play, which is a big deal. Uh, if you want to play tier tens and not lose money, now you there you go. Uh, if you want to play tier eights and make bank because you've basically got a credit booster going all the time, there you go. You can do that too. So that's how I would do this, um, and then, excuse me. Once once that isn't once once it's pretty well filled in. Let's say you're at a point where, you know, like like me, you know, I've got two of these. So let's say I have like three of them, and when and everything else is kind of like that too. That's where uh, like it wouldn't be really worth your while to try to gamble to get this one and the last one that you don't have. So you'll use the decoder writer. You'll pick the, the certain type. Uh, let me. I'll click it again just to make sure that I don't mess it up. So this you click this type. And it'll pre-select that of the collection and the type. Then you'll use one of your one of your anti-duplicator charges, right? You get a bunch of those for finishing the festive atmospheres. They don't respawn. You don't get any more of those, but I'll get to that. So I would use it on that where it's very close, where it's you want to finish out the little that section of collection. Um, so save these to the end is what I'm trying to say. 
Um, and that will that will get you one that you for sure don't have. And then once you're out of those, you can use shards. You can use 2,000 shards. It's not doing it for me because I don't have 2,000 shards because, again, I, I already did this video once today. Um, but you can use 2,000 shards plus the cost of the actual decoration to crank out some new ones. So all of a sudden, I think this is a big game changer. This is going to make it that it's not that hard to get more of the collection filled out than we than was possible last year. Last year it was way harder to do, but because this is a game changer. Allowing you to use shards to do it and those weekend missions are going to be huge. So do that. Uh, so focus on, you know, like I said, don't forget to put the new ones on the tree. If there's an exclamation point next to the next to the decoration, you got to put it on the tree. Uh, so, you know, and, and I just, I call it the tree, but I mean like everything, right? The installation, you put it on all the different things and then smash it and then make new stuff and then try to just make sure the odds are in your favor. Put it on, you know, craft the ones you don't have any of. And I think that it'll be very easy for you to get to level 10 and you'll get your female crew and all this stuff, excuse me, for levels. You get all this stuff, you know, this would be great. Uh, we've already gone over what all this stuff is. But I, I think I think if you do this right, and you just play on the weekends, you'll easily get to level 10. <sighs> uh, I think that's it. I think that's what I wanted to talk about. So that's, you know, the Arnie missions are easy. You can come in on the last day, you know, if you want to, and, and crank all of these out at the same time, because uh, they all happen at the same time. Like you see, I've, I've progressed on both of these at the same time. So it's not like one and then the other and then the other. That would be way harder. So these are no big deal. And these are very attainable. Just play the game. That's all they want you to do is play the game and you get your free commander. You know, that sounds kind of like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what I think. I think this is not as bad as it originally looked, mostly because of those weekend missions. If it wasn't for the weekend missions, this would be way harder. So uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for coming along, guys. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.